statistic after statistic, you have people who are attending church on Sunday mornings. They are celebrating something, maybe the greatest hits of the 1980s or the latest sermon series based on a movie. They perhaps put their hands up, but they leave that building. I dare not call it a church. And they go out into the world and they act like the world. Why? Because we have far too many salvations. Proclamation, oh, that person made a decision without any fruit that accompanies it. In other words, these days in the church, we've got a lot of false converts. This is not foreign to us. It's repeated time and time again across our church culture, people who indulge in sin for year after year after year and think, oh, I know I'm indulging in sin, but I made a decision in church years ago, so I'm okay. The result is a host of people who've made decisions at some point in the church, but let's be honest, they're sitting there week after week and there's no desire for Christ in them. And do we see this? The host of professing Christians who think they're eternally safe but may not be eternally safe. As they coast through this comfortable Christian spin on the American dream that is so far from Christ. Does Matthew 7 not haunt us that many people will say on that day, not a few, Jesus says many people will say, Lord, do we not do all these things? And I will tell them, I never knew you. You do not need to go to Bangladesh on a missions trip to find a pagan. You simply need to slide down your pew. Why? Our culture of easy believism. Hey, it's the easiest thing you'll ever do. It's simple. Just make a decision for Jesus. There's nothing but upside. Hey, tell you what, ask Jesus into your heart, and if you don't like the results in 30 days, we'll give you your money back. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And because of that easy believism, we are seeing plenty of fruit, rotten fish, tares, and foolish virgins. And in evangelicalism today, we celebrate numbers, but we're not actually examining fruit. No, we're not supposed to be the nitpickers, but we are supposed to help one another to examine ourselves to see if we are in the faith. And truth be told, based on virtually every statistical marker, the evangelical church, it is not nearly as robust as it appears to be. In other words, the evangelical books that we have, the numbers that we have scrawled down to say, look, we're the number one denomination in the country, do not match the statistics, the numbers that are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Well, there's no place like home for conflict. Got any? We've got a resource on biblical reconciliation that will help your relationship be better than it was before the conflict. It's outstanding, this resource, and many more at wretched.org.